Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And there we go. All right, well. So, on to the next resource thing. Yes, we are still gathering a bit of resources. We have iron, nickel, and copper. In order to automate at least the first few engineering bricks, we're also going to need redstone. Now... The only way to get redstone automated is with a full excavator, and I don't think I'm going to build up to that. I think I'm just going to build a crusher for that little box of cinnabar that we got out of the crusher. That should be worth a couple of, a couple thousand of redstone. So, let's look up again what we need to make the crusher. Yeah, we'll just lay down a dedicated crusher just for it. So, one redstone, ten light... And really, those are the only expensive bits, along with the nine hoppers, of course. So, the nine hoppers are probably going to be the most expensive part, so let's make those. Yeah, them hoppers. So, that's going to need 18 light and 18 red. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Thankfully, we have a good stock of redstone dust on hand. We can grab a little bit of that, and we're just going to need to go and grab some iron, which thankfully we have a lovely supply of now. Oh, right. Um, between episodes, I built the smeltery over at our uh, new dig site a little bit taller. And I think that was just about all I did. All right, so the only other thing we should need is mechanical components. Which we don't have all that much of. Hmm. Well, let's at least get some recipe laid out for these redstone engineering blocks. And let's see how many of this will make us. Eh, I don't know if that's enough. No, I, I'm at least going to need to make some more components because I'm going to need that for... Uh... Didn't I cast out a bunch of plates? I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Well, let's cast out a bunch of plates. We have effectively infinite iron ingots now, so there's no reason not to. Let's get our bag fully sorted. Yes, I'm a little bit out of it because this is another sleepy stream. I could not sleep. So, six. Let's make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And put that away. Unfortunate, but so it goes. So this is another so late it's early stream entirely because of just my brain hating me. Ah, yes. I'm experimenting with uh, red wire as a means of spreading the redstone signal immediately to all tables, and we'll see if that helps it a little bit. If this fails, the only thing I can think of doing would be to... would be to change from hoppers to something else like a buildcraft pipe. That should guarantee it always pulling. But you never know. Next stack. I wonder if it takes it longer to pour than it does to melt. Yeah, that does pour it all instantly. But it still seems to fail every once in a while. Still, having it perfectly in sync seems to reduce the failure rate a little bit. Yes, unfortunately, just... Making a ton of mechanical components is going to take a moment. But at least we have the resources to do it. Did I put an output box for easy access on the copper? That's looking like not yet. Well, we can do that real quick. We just need a lever and a chest. Just like so. And a dupe. And there's copper out. A 
and it should be time for another stack of uh, iron chucked into the furnace. How's this doing? Almost a stack. So yeah, it's running really close to the amount of time it takes to pour, it looks like. Still, I could have sworn that I made a ton of plates. I have one stack. I think I want to keep that for crafting purposes. Hello, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Lovely to see you on stream. This is uh, likely to be a bit of a nothing sleepy stream, I'm afraid. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on just making a crusher uh, for dedicated redstone production because I've got iron, nickel, and copper coming in relatively well right now. All I need is a little bit of redstone, and I can work on automating the engineering blocks. And once I have automated engineering blocks coming in, that should make my life much easier for expanding my industrial capacity even further. So, that's the big project right now. Yeah, that's probably good enough. That's probably good enough for the redstone engineering blocks, I should say. So, let's just leave those in there. Next, we're also going to need some copper gears. I don't think I have very many in storage. Well, you know what? Let's actually make use of our metal cast for once. That's a machine that I use relatively... Or metal press, I should say. Yeah, that's one I use relatively rarely, simply because... It's much slower than casting them out usually, but right now the caster is busy with the plates, so... Yeah, I should have remembered to put the output chest on this a long time ago. There we go. Aye. Yeah, man. It's running really close to margin on here. I can't leave that thing idle for long. Otherwise, it'll run dry. Not that that particularly matters. Hmm. Maybe I should just put a chest on this thing so I can set and forget it. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Come on. Let me... There we go. And from there, I can just... Oh, wait, this is set to wire, isn't it? Never mind, never mind. Hold on, hold on. This is set to wire. That was dumb. Why isn't it go? D does it, like, need an another... Why did it stop? That's bizarre. Something broke it? Oh, it's out of power, of course. I turned the diesel generator off for a little while. Just let that charge up for a moment. Just to clear the dang machine. All right. Da, 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 da. And, uh, and, uh. Yes, that was a bit dumb. But that's life for you. Didn't lose that much. Be a bit short of a stack of gears. It's fine. There we go. I really need to get that comparator for the diesel gens. But that is going to have to wait until I have a dedicated excavator on sand. And that is going to have to wait until I have more diesel generators because the excavator for sand is really damn slow and it has to operate constantly unlike the unlike the uh, excavator for uh, ores and stuff that only process as fast as the smelteries go all right so da, 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 and into there get me a few more components all right so next Hmm. Maybe I should have just... Yeah, this metal press is going to be a bit slow for this process. Hello, Blood Devon. Always lovely to see you here. 
All right, so next we're going to need light engineering blocks. More than that. We need way more than that. Let's get some more copper and start melting it down because we're done with the iron cast. Yep, kind of just run this process in parallel from our multiple production sources. Speed it up as much as we can. Mm, it's almost done. Really? I haven't changed much. I mean, the only... Last time you were here, I was building the excavator over there, right? Yeah, I think the only thing I changed between episodes is... Like, I think I refilled all the pollution filters wool, and I built those smelteries over there a little bit taller. What, what was the last episode you were here at? Or do you mean, are you talking about the pre-recorded episode? Because th those episodes are, like, way behind where I am in, in live, you know? Like, this is going to be episode 40-something. Uh, yeah, let's get our gear casting a little bit sped up even further beyond. Make some extras. Oh. Yes, well. Ah, well. Now you see what the cobble gin has been used for. Yes. And why I needed it. Because I need all this production space for absurd assemblies like this monstrosity over here. And for the mountains of storage and things like that. Ah, but yes, that, that cobble gen has served us quite well, I must say. This is as much as a silo can hold, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, we need more gears. More... Let's just produce as many as, w as it will let us. Yeah, sure is. Ah, there it is. I was wondering where that went. All right. And you can pour. And we ain't doing bad on iron either. We're starting to get there, you know? We're starting to get to the point where it's not a matter of whether we have the resources, but whether we can assemble them into the finished goods, you know? Right now, the project I'm working on is doing the same thing for redstone, getting the, uh, the redstone production up and going. Of mechanical components? Alright, well. Yes, of course, more is always a solution. But we're getting to the point where we have to consider more of what instead of just more in general. Speaking of, I think I'll build a little bit more of those. Yeah, let's do. This canteen is kind of useless. I could swear that uh, I remember Tough as Nails canteen used to be you could fill it with purified water, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Huh, I forgot to pick up more of those. Oh well. Oh, out of iron? Well, that's easy enough to fix. 
And just a few more. Yeah, that should do. We don't want to waste all of our redstone blocks, you know. So we'll just let the rest of that be as it be. Oops, not those. But yes, I need to queue up a large batch of uh, copper gears. Oh, I still have these copper blocks. Well, let's get a nice even number of those and let's turn all of that into gears. Come on. And is this not pouring? It is, it's just slow. Okay, the stamper is indeed faster. Okay, so next I'm gonna need 18 of these, 18 of these, a whole buttload of iron, Yes, I'd say two stacks is what I would scientifically call the worth of an entire butt. And then I think I'm going to need glue? Maybe? What does a hopper take? Yeah. So I'm going to need 45 glue. I don't have enough. You know, I could swear that there was an easier recipe for making liquid clay out of like a squeezer, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. Let's go get that squeezer from the old base. I can also probably turn the diesel engine back off. Really need to find a better control system for that already. Need those comparators. Indeed. Well, you presume that the IRS can stop us even now. Remember that I have this deadly pig iron bow. Yes. So deadly. Anything in you? Bunch of seed oil. Just pour that out, it's fine. Yeah, that's a pretty nice, goodly supply of it. What was I using that for? I don't remember. Ah, uh, free floating spigots. You hate to see it. Tragedy of physics. Okay, so, 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 so. Yeah, let's just kind of put the squeezer up on our line of machines over there. And we'll keep it for manual use right at the moment. It probably won't get too terribly much use, but it is probably the fastest way I have of making liquid clay at the moment. Since, well, I mean, I do still have the clay fountain over here. Yeah, we'll just put this, like, right here. And then dip under the base to get that hooked up. This mulch, do I have any use for it immediately? I could make humus, hmm. And it's part of the production of meat and biomass, which I think are the forestry fuel production chain. So, not really at the moment, but potentially. And we're just gonna need a single one of those, probably a couple of these. We're gonna need our HV cable, of course, and that should do us. So, just dip under the old base into spaghetti land. And where are the power hookups for those good old fashioned? There they are. Uh, can I still hook it up through here? No. It finally reached the point where it's not accepting my bullshit on that anymore. Okay, well, we can just kind of, uh, maybe right here. And then, yeah, that works for now. 
All right. And we can just get rid of you. All right, and that'll allow us to more easily make the liquid clay, to more easily make the good old-fashioned glue. I don't have any clay blocks. Well, that's an easy enough fix. I am running out of clay balls. That is a less easy fix. But 16 buckets of clay should be enough for the moment. So yeah, if I just stick this in the squeezer, that should squeeze, shouldn't it? No power. Oh, because I turned the generator off. I keep forgetting that I did that. Do I have the distillery on? We are getting a little lower on diesel these days. All right, and into the squeezer. Hmm. You talk about them so much. Have they personally wronged you, Blood Devon, the IRS? Ah, uh, shoot, I should have checked if I had sufficient pulp first. I don't. Okay, so I need to remember how do glue... It's pulp in the corners, slime in the center. Thankfully, I should have a little bit of this still. Hm. Now, now, a person's... Well, uh, yeah, I guess the IRS, their existence does kind of go against everything the country stands for, doesn't it? Just implicitly. Hmm. Okay. Yep, I'll support you in that one. They do indeed deserve scorn simply for existing. Right, I need to keep on casting that iron out. No, I don't. It can wait. But I do, however, need a lot more clay. Right. Not wearing the scuba tank. I forgot. That's also an easy fix. Ah. This is kind of an underground... Yeah, that's where I was harvesting a bunch of uh, gravel, wasn't I? Oh well. It's fine. We're flooding the area anyway, so it'll reduce the... It, it, it won't have any spawns anyway. Okay, and I should have enough to filter my inventory now. Well, they're kind of coming out piecemeal, so... And, and a lot of it is just good old-fashioned derping around. This episode is, a, is really quite saturated with derp because this is a sleepy stream. This is me getting on the computer because I could not goddamn sleep. So it's probably narcissistic of me to ask, but... Uh, have you watched the first edited version of the first edited episode of uh, Syrup Leaf yet? Good old Clay, indeed. Clay will never betray us. Hmm. Yes. I was hoping to get some feedback on that because uh, two things I agonized over were, first of all, I, I mean, you're probably aware of the the 
flumping I've done thinking like I probably shouldn't do Let's Read Live if I'm putting out edit, uh, edited episodes, but uh, Democracy made the decision on that one in the end. But uh, also, I'm kind of agonizing like, is the background music I put in, is that like a good choice? Like, A, is it a good choice in general? And B, did I do it good? I mean, on the one hand, I suppose it does make it something more different than Let's Read Live having proper background music and all. But on the other, it's a less pure experience, isn't it? Mm. And there's always, you know, the matter of my taste is probably shit. But yes, do give it a watch whenever you have time. And I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so. Yeah, I know. And it was a really narrow margin on on that one either way. In the end, public barely won. It it probably won by like maybe one or two votes. All right, so we can just, honestly, I probably want to have these all as blocks, but we'll just make like two stacks worth of blocks and store all the rest for now. And that might last us, oh yeah, I do want some clay balls because I need them for the glue recipe as well. That's true. Mm. Okay, what's missing? Wood pulp is missing. Shoot. Ah, but it's down to exactly one bucket of clay. That's a relief. So we can just take that out of the carpenter. And now we can go and make our wood pulp as we should have done in the first place. So do I have... I guess the only place I would be storing wood would be over here in the creosote maker. Yeah. Okay, that should make us a little bit... I mean, I could, but that would reduce the amount of glue that I could use to make hoppers. And we can't be having that. I have to do my glue sniffing on my own time, don't you know? Okay, I think that should be the one if I... Yeah, that's making pulp. So, two, three, four should be enough, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay, so... Yeah, that should make a stack of it. So then I need to do a total of 16. And possibly a little bit more, I think. Yeah, because I think that the glue recipe doesn't evenly... doesn't evenly go into a... Uh, a count of 16. So we'll make like an extra stack of wood pulp or so. Okay, that should eventually be enough. No, I think I need to give it one more count of four buckets, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I need to neaten this up a little bit more, make full use of my space. Oh, that's impregnated sticks. We really don't use those very frequently. Let's put those over here. Or here? Yeah, that's more appropriate, I guess. Alright, and... Yep, one more set of four. I 
I'm trying to be very careful with my carpenter. Use all the fluid because I don't have a uh, a pipette to take out partial buckets. So I have to make sure I always get exact change. It's a bit of a pain, but what you gonna do? Really, the solution is to eventually have one carpenter for every liquid type. But we aren't at that point of production yet where that's an easy thing to do. All right, so I believe it is like this now and like this now. And from there we can... See where that's going to get us. So that should be 20s worth. And I need to put in more clay balls, of course. That get an uneven. There, that should be better. Okay, so there we go. It's getting there. Five, ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and this already is probably more than enough glue than what we need. But you always make a little bit more than you need when it comes to recipes like this. And are we out of power again? I no, the diesel gen's on. What are we out of? We're not out of slime, we're not out of pulp, we're out of clay. And that should be everything it needs. You know, let's get rid of this uneven amount of wood pulp here. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Hmm. Well, the clay blocks that are in this pack, at least, a lot of them are various different colors. Like, there's red clay, and there's brown clay, and there's all the different stuff. Hmm. I've seen it in, like, hobby stores, I think. Gray clay. Chests, of course. How could I forget that making a hopper involves a chest? That's, like, basic knowledge. Okay, so that's the hard part of the new crusher built. Next, we're going to need, let's see here, in the manual, we're going to need 10 more light engineering blocks, which I think I'm just short of. Yep, so let's just make a few. So we're going to need our components once more. We're going to need to make more gears. Has this finished casting me out a ton yet? Looks like it. Alrighty then. And then we're just going to need redstone, we're going to need copper, we're going to need iron. And that should allow us to create a bunch of light engineering blocks. That's probably not enough. No, it's, it's enough. It's enough for now. So ten of those, one of those. Clean out our table a little bit. Let's just leave the gears and mechanical components and stuff in there. Okay, and I think the rest is just a bunch of scaffolding, really. 
Yeah, let's see here. Ten steel scaffolding, eight steel fence. I had some steel fence somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's going to be a bunch of steel rods, a bunch of steel ingots. And let's start with the scaffolding. Over there. Yeah, perfect. Steel fence. And that should be everything we need to make one more crusher. All righty then. Let's just double check in our book. Yes, indeed. Indeedy it do. Okay, so next we're going to need El Hamar. Let's also put away that redstone. Well, no, I don't need... I do need a piece of redstone, don't I? Yeah, I remember that the... Uh, I think I remember that the Crusher doesn't take redstone signal directly off of a gate for whatever reason. I think that it needs to have it like facing inward, doesn't it? Let me let me look at how I did this over in my iron setup. Let's see, the pump jack is Why isn't the pump jack moving? Chest isn't full. Did I already suck this teat dry? Dang. Anyway, 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 Crusher. How am I working you, Crusher? So where, yeah, see, I had to put a dot of redstone dust on this one, because for whatever reason, it wouldn't accept redstone signal directly off the gate for its controls. Hmm, oh well, that's easy enough. Yep, yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to move the copper pump jack in a second. Regardless, this is where the old cinnabar was, right? Right. And this is where the old box of it that we laid down was, right. So, do I still have the power nipple looking up out of the ground anywhere around here? Wait, didn't it come out the side of the wall there? Yeah, it did. And I think I took that down. So, we can more or less put this wherever we want. Uh, that was... That was just a little liquid vein of copper. Um, the liquid veins are much smaller than the uh, mineral veins. I did learn something distressing, though. Apparently, some of the mineral veins decay over time just on their own, whether they're being mined or not. And I've only found one vein of copper, and it's apparently one of the ones that decays. So it could be that... Uh... Yes, <laughs> yes... I, I, well, I have the appropriate armor for the fun cables right now. The Faraday armor. I can lick all the tasty power cables that I want these days. And it's no problem. Anyway, anyway, so. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if the, let's at least make sure that the crusher is all within one chunk, though. So. The excavator will be somewhere within this chunk. Probably down there, to be honest. So I guess that it would be most appropriate if the crusher was over here? Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, but yes, I've died to the fun cables once. Sadly, it was not on camera. It was not on camera, unfortunately. So where's the output on this thing? Okay, so it's on that side if I build it like this. And that's probably the way I want it facing. Yes, I, I died to them once in a, uh, when I was, I think it was when I was um, doing something in the Utilidors off camera. You know, let's, let's keep the book on hand. So that's, Three, space two. Space two. And that's going to be just... No. Is that really how I want to run it? Yeah, that is. That is how I want to run it. So then that goes to beyond there. Do I have enough space right now? Let's see here. Yeah, I have just enough space. It kind of blocks the entrance to this utilidor, but oh well. Oh, it's fine. It's just it's just a power cable death. It's nothing spectacular. Okay, so then it's 
Hmm. Then again, that puts the redstone control over here. Do I, I kind of want it flipped around the other side. Well, no, okay, so. The chest is ultimately what's going to be creating the control conditions for this and for the excavator that I'll eventually install. So I guess maybe I want to move it one away from the ledge for ease of use purposes. But otherwise, keep the... Keep it more or less positioned at this level. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds about right. So, space two, rest scaffolding. And then center up. And then it was just um, over there. So it's this one with the redstone being that one, right? Yeah, that's how it do. And then it's just the fencing all the way around like this. And yeah, poor Riley. I feel bad that like I didn't see him complaining about it on the Discord. Because I eventually told him about the Faraday suit and he like he he was uh he was appropriately I think stunned that there was in fact a way not to die to power cables. Okay, that should do it. I forgot to take out the hammer. So I think I click on this one, yep. And that's indeed pretty much how I wanted it laid out. So next we're gonna to need to I think I'm going to make this a double chest, give it as much storage as I possibly can. And honestly, this shouldn't be too tough to work out how to do the logistics on this, because I think I'll do this relatively simply. Yeah, we're just going to kind of messily run it down into the utilidor. and just kind of jam it on in there because that pipe already has an iron pipe on it. So we can turn the chunk view off. So it should automatically path to whichever way it needs to go, hopefully, unless it changes the priority when I hook it on. Let's try that. Let's hook that up there. Nope, it remembered, okay. So that'll boost exactly where we want it to in the storage system. Wait, did I program the diamond pipes over on the receiving end? I forget if I did. But yes, if you want to see power cable deaths, Riley is uh, is definitely one to watch. Let's see, that's steel, copper, redstone, glowstone. Excellent. All righty then. So, now I should just be able to switch this, no, not switch it. I need to just place down a building block, don't I? Yeah. Why do I have seared bricks on me? Oh no, those are vents. Those are vents. Never mind. Yep. Yeah. So let's just place down a miscellaneous building block. A little bit jank, unfortunately. Redstone right there. Then I should be able to take a structural pipe or something. Am I out of structural? No, they are. I'm very nearly out of structural pipe though. Okay, so then I should be able to take this is going to have to have two gates, I think. One for... Yeah, I'm also going to need to run the redstone controlling cable down over here, but we'll do that in a second. Uh, so then the pulsar would have to be on this side. Yeah. Can I get in there? There we go. 
Okay, so. First of all, we're going to have a condition on this one saying if container on the north side. That is the north side, right? Right. So if container on north side contains less than 75%. No, it has to be a not. So I need some wire on this because it needs to be a not condition. So we need to invert that signal. So this one, if you contain less than 75%, produce blue signal. This one, if you have no blue signal, then emit redstone. Right, so that should mean that if the chest gets more than 75% full, then the blue signal will turn off and thus the redstone will be emitted and the crusher will deactivate. Now I just need to get power into the system and chuck all this, all the cinnabar we mined up into the hopper. Come on, get me up there, please. There we go. Just chuck it all in there. Crushers have effectively, they're, they're effectively like deep storage units for, uh, ores and stuff. They're pretty much limitless. I'm probably making it sound more complex than it is simply because my mind is wandering and I'm not saying everything explicitly as clearly as it could be. Hmm. So what would be the easiest way to get power over here? It might still be to do a pass through through the wall on the side over here. Yeah, that might be it. Like if I do a pass through like right here. Okay. It's a little bit of a waste of connectors, but so it goes. Uh, I'm fairly certain it'll work. I'm like 80% certain it'll work. We'll test it, of course. I always test my builds. So then, power over there. And then one more HV cable. On to there. Yep, that immediately starts chunking out huge amounts of redstone and glowstone. So let's change this condition on the blue a little bit to 25%, because it should fill up to that amount fairly quickly, even as a double chest. You know, we didn't. We can do that real quick. So I can put down this box. I'll put my logistics bag in there. Pick that up, and then I can put that in my white bag. So yes, they do. They are in fact as stupid as that. All right, and look at that. Chest is 25% full, it turns off. Easy as you pleasey. All right, so now I need to run red cable over here in order to get the proper limiting condition from our silos, as well as the manual control override on here. No, I'm gonna need my hammer for this. And I'm also gonna need these things. So, I think that I should be able to link off of all of these. Yeah, yeah technically infinite slots. That is, that is wunderbar. I think if I put it here, it would break the wire, so I need to put it here. So can I run it all the way from here? Yep. 
Okay, so... If I put a signal here... Can the gates read that? Let's see here. That is currently an input, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it's a white channel output. So let's put a lever... Nya. My goal is to get the crusher and output on this thing to immediately turn off whenever it has signal. So, yes, that do turn... Well... Let's take a few stacks of redstone out. Yeah, that's a manual override for turning the crusher off. All right. But if I have a thing on here saying when redstone signal on. Okay. And when redstone signal off. Okay, that's that's still not right because because that redstone is activated. But you know what? That redstone being activated is also the condition that we're... Okay, yeah, that works. That works. That works. Okay. So, now I just need to remember... Uh, I need to remember what color this is going to be set to. And you know what? I think I'm going to have the redstone and glowstone uh, silos set to the same color. And I'm just going to put void pipes on these suckers. That way, uh, because Cinnabar produces both redstone and glowstone, it'll be tripped when both of these are at appropriate limits instead of when just one is. So let's grab ourselves a little bit of redstone to make these lines. Unfortunately, gates cannot read silos. So instead, what I'm going to have to do is, when I become capable of producing comparators, there will be a comparator on here, and comparators will read silos and output a uh, redstone signal based on how full they are. So I'm laying out the control system ahead of time, and in the meantime, I'm just relying on manual control. Speaking of, we have about 10,000 iron. That's probably enough. Let's turn those off. Down to 12. Damn. Those liquid veins are wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. All right, so. I believe my lines are eight long. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, and I think I'm just going to make these both the same color. No, it's only seven long? Huh. Neat. And this should be whatever the third color is. Light blue. Yeah, that looks right to me. So, then we just link them all into the system. And because they're only this, they're both the same color, all I need is just the one lever on here. We'll turn that on for the moment just to make sure that the signal is traveling to the destination as well as it should. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the game... There, there are similar exploits like for chunk banning and stuff like that in multiplayer, I think. Doing things like having books with absurd amounts of characters in them, aren't there? Moving them through hoppers and the like. Okay, so then I think all I need to do is set this to light blue. And it should still be receiving signals. So if I take a couple of stacks out... Yep. So now even though... Even though it has blue signal and the redstone from the gate is not happening, the redstone from the manual override is still happening. So, we have both manual and semi-automatic control on this thing, and when we have a comparator to put on the silo, we will have fully automatic control on this thing 
that will just be working whenever the silo gets about halfway-ish full. Not a bad system, if I do say so myself. So now all it needs is a condition on either of these gates, really, saying when... Uh, saying when no redstone... Pulse the pipe. No, wait. That would cause a problem, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because then, then the box over here would interfere with it. Okay, so I need to make like another redstone connector. I don't know, like down there somewhere. Set that to light blue. Link it. And make sure it's set to output. And then I need a gate on there and some pipe wire. I think blue's already up there, so it has to be white wire. And this one will say when redstone signal is on, transmit white. And then just run that up. Wrong side, but that's okay. And yeah, this one can say, when not white, pulse the pipe. And that should mean that it's only reading the redstone wire instead of the redstone wire and the chest. Okay, and that should behave like we want it to. But of course, we will test the system. So now, if I run back to the base, and then turn off our manual override. We should see that the redstone begins bumping out. Indeed, indeed it do. And eventually, this will reach a low enough point that, hmm. You, ah, there it goes. And you see that? It only ground up one unit of uh, ore before it immediately shut off again because that overfilled the box. So, the crusher is only running when it needs to. It's not overflowing the box. It's pumping out. And eventually, when we have comparators, it will even shut off before it fills off the storage. In the meantime, though, we need to put void pipes on uh, the redstone and the glowstone destinations. as well as the fact that we need to switch that out for clay pipes to ensure that it, in, it, yeah, that it inserts into the silo first before it goes to void. Delicious life-giving tripe. Though really, I should probably switch to blood sausages because blood sausages have a really high iron content and we all know how important that is to me. No, tripes are actually probably the better food overall. More uh, more satiation power. Anyway, clay pipes. I have a few. Uh, those are obsidian. Do I have void pipes on me in my bag? Yes, I do. Uh, 
All right, so I turned that off a little while ago. Is it still receiving? It is a very long pipeline. Yeah, just in that couple of minutes that, in, in that couple of seconds that we had it on, it already pulled a bunch of redstone. So now we need to switch it to clay pipe and probably just put a void pipe immediately off to the side. Like so. Clay pipe. And why not? Make it look like they're kind of linked together. Dear Lord, what has the world come to? Why have you notified me of this blasphemy, Blood Devon? You have made my life noticeably worse. I, I must expunge this data from my brain. Now I guess the only thing is I think I might want to put a second extraction pipe on here so that it extracts both redstone and glowstone simultaneously instead of just trying to empty out the box at a little time because, yeah, at this rate, it's going to be stuck sucking out redstone forever and it'll never get around to the glowstone. So that's an easy enough one to do. We just need to put a second extraction pipe on here, like right there. Um, we also need to filter these things properly. So let's just there and there. We'll filter this one to redstone. Okay, that's a cute emote. That one is cute. That somewhat cleanses the palette. We're gonna need a gate. We're gonna need a pulser. I'm gonna need more pulsers soon. Pulsers are a bit of a pain to create. Ah, shoot. So then this needs to be an iron pipe. Yeah, it do. Well, it's it's not causing problems in the moment, but... So we'll say when white off, pulse pipe, and make sure pipe is filtered to glowstone dust. And we need to, I do have iron pipes on me, good. All right, so we just need to, oops. That's unfortunate, okay. And then we need to whack it with a wrench Ah, no, it's going the right way. Just on its own. I guess it figured out that that's the most beneficial direction to go. All right. And that should be redstone and glowstone sorted for a good long time. Not forever. Not forever until we can get a uh, another excavator dedicated to it. But... Right now, I'm just trying to build up enough infrastructure to start creating the blocks to more easily make those things, you know? You know, I'm going to mentally... I'm going to mentally filter that so it's sneeze, not dab. Yes, you're, you're sneezing. How terrible. Oh, un unfortunate. And in this time... In, 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 this, in this climate, too... Oh, you're going to cause another lock lockdown, Blood Devon. Please, never, ever do that again. Ever. Again. Ever. Cease. For... For the, uh... For the health reasons, yes. Hello, 12th Century Fox. Uh, I can probably shut this down for now. Welcome to the uh, late night derp stream. Everyone's favorite, I know. How's the pollution filter in here doing? It could use a little love. Let's just grab our deniers, see what the old man has in stock. Okay, I guess the next item on the agenda would be... Would be, um... Moving that copper pump jack because I've already sucked that teat dry. So yeah, moving it back to that first liquid source it was on in the first place, I guess. Because that was a pretty chuffy one, if I recall. It is 5 a.m. for me. 
Yep. I woke up to go to the bathroom around midnight and could not get back to sleep. I've got maybe three hours of sleep in me right now. I've been uh, breeding up the old man's sheep. Apparently he shears them all. So the more sheep you breed up for him, the faster he produces wool. So he's being quite a reliable supply for me at the moment. Although, when we start building the biodiesel industry, that'll be the point that I have fully automated wool, effectively. Uh, yes, that is exactly what it doesn't need, Devin. That is what it doesn't need ever. Okay, let's give some of these over to the Iron Forge. Eh. And most of these over to the Diesel Gen. Alrighty then. So, yep, nothing for it. We just need to move that pump jack. Then why do you keep doing it? That sounds like a prime reason to stop. Yep, nothing to it but to do it, I guess. Okay, then. Truly unfortunate that this thing did not last very long at all. Just didn't have the endurance to give me satisfaction. Mm. Need something with a little bit more stamina. Needs bigger, thicker resource veins. I mean, you're not wrong, unfortunately. Ah, shoot. Okay, I took the pulser off of it, so it's fine. Really, I should just take the whole damn pipe down. any of these dark spots? No, they're not. So it's fine. Yeah, moving the pump jack by itself ain't so bad. It's moving all the infrastructure around it that's kind of the more troublesome task. Especially when the hoppers fight you and try and steal. At least they're kind enough to bring it right up to you. It, what emote is that that you've discovered? Is that like, is that a bear? Is that a sloth? What the heck is that? All right, and the rest can just go in the old logistics bag. Oh. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed. And uh, I, I've been kind of, I've been kind of uh, agonizing over this. What do you think of the choice of adding background music to the Let's Read? That is something I'm experimenting with for uh, Syrup Leap. Like, I mean, I've had music before. I had the introductory music in Boat Murdered and little asides and head shoots, but just having 
quiet background music for the narration itself. That's something new. What do you think of it, 12th Century Fox? And uh, what do you think of the tracks I've picked out so far? Yeah, this is the one. Oops. Okay, so we just need to lay this out. Where's the Utilidor? This should have a Utilidor going down to it, shouldn't it? Ah. No, this wouldn't have a Utilidor because this was a really early one. Okay, so we're going to have to dig Utilidor down here. And that probably means we're going to want this as close to the outer corner as possible, I guess. All right, good to hear it. Good to hear it. That is exactly what I was going for. So, da, da, da. Uh, book, remind me. How do I do this? How do I make the pump jock? Okay, so it's... It's light scaff scaff. And then... Okay, so let's make it... Let's give it a little bit of space out of the corner. Let's like make it like, uh, so that's scaff, scaff, light. And then it's like this, like this. And then I think it's that T of pipes. And then this T of scaff. I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to building these now. Kinda. Okay, so then build up light to there. Build up red to there. Build up heavy to there. Yeah, he's great. Immersive engineering in general is a wonderfully done mod. And that should do it. That did not do it. Okay, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Okay. Red. Two heavies over there. Yeah. This is all looking correct. Okay. By using the engineering block on the heavy engineering block on the second layer. Oh, I was hitting the wrong one. Okay. Okay, so now we just need to remake the infrastructure around it. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I figured it was unlike the IRS, of course. Okay, so did I put all my liquid pipe away into this bag? I guess not. I should have a ton of liquid pipe still, shouldn't I? What did I do with it? Oh well, liquid pipe is cheap. If we've lost some liquid pipe, it's no big deal. Oh no wait, I was using buildcraft pipe for this. Because it needs circuit conditions. Right, okay. That makes sense. So. First, we start by here and here. And I should be able to see that this is set to output. Hmm. Well, we need to set that to input. I guess it didn't remember its conditions. Okay, set that to input and set this to output. Output. 
And from there, we should be okay laying out our casting tables just like so. Along with, I must have put the chest in the logistics bag as well. So let's just right under the center, why not kind of do this a bit sensibly. There, there, there. And there, there. Run the liquid pipe on down the lines. And that way too. And now the reason that we're using this uh, this barrel here is so that we can get a read on it with gates to more finely control the pump jack. Because otherwise it will just keep on pumping and pumping and pumping even if there's no space for anything to go. So we're gonna need any old gate and we're gonna need a bunch of wire and a bunch of structural cable. So put a gate on here and we say when tank full on the top side, then emit blue. And then I should be able to run structure cable on down. Link that in. Will it let me? No, it's looking like it's not. Hmm. Why won't you link? Come on. I know that you should be able to cross over. I guess it just doesn't like it right down there. Okay, so it needs to be on this side. These are always a little bit finicky. So then if I down there, there that links, that links. No reason to be wasteful. We might as well run it over as efficiently as we can. And we just run the blue cable on down there. And remind me, what did I say my condition was? Let's see, I said wind tank full emit blue. So on this side, I need another gate. Any gate will do. And I just need it to say on there, when blue emit redstone. Yes, and unfortunately I am not power rich just yet. I'm running a single diesel generator. And while it's a very nice industrial diesel generator, it's still just one. So I need to preserve as much power as I can. So now, I need to run Utilidor down here. So I'll just make a nice waypoint over there. Put my gubbins away. And sort my inventory a little bit. Oh yes, I'm also gonna need my excavator. As well as torches. Might need more torches. Also gonna need, probably time to make more wire relays. Probably time. Hmm. And yes, also need these need these and need these. So down into the cavern we go. Yes, and that is effectively what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to get the resources together to more easily start increasing my infrastructure. 
So, this is looking like it's about the place to be. Right here-ish. And that's, yeah, that's an okay position for it. Uh, because that is redstone cable. It is what is going to allow us to manually control our machines from a distance. It's what's going to ultimately uh, create the automated shutoff on our storage system. That will uh, prevent our silos from overflowing. And in general, it's just useful stuff. Indeed. Indeed. So now I need to determine... Okay, I think I'm going to need to make another relay, like, right... Nya. And that would mean that... Instead of, like directly off the line from way down way down the court needs to be this one here still going down there but then leading to Nya and to Nya oh dear mm, unfortunate I'm too lazy to move the redstone cable, so let's just do this. But yeah, I'm going to need to make more relays. And then we just run it on down. Fortunate that the stone layer seems to be raised up on this, making this more difficult to mine, but such is life. Hmm, you know what, what I could do is. There, that'll make life a bit easier. Okay, so let's just run it on down. Even out our ceiling later. Okay, so there's our line laid out nice and neat and even. But yeah, immersive engineering redstone cable is wonderful stuff. It sends redstone signal instantly. It uh, has multiple channels. And it's really, really wonderful and easy to config. It's great. It's good stuff. All right. So now, is gray whack? I thought that was limestone. We can just toss that out, no problem. And now we unfortunately do, in fact, need to clean up the corridor. Yep. The only thing that's at all difficult about it is that you need to uh, make sure to tap it with the hammer to set input and output. It's not just universally in or universally and out like redstone dust is. Which is a positive and a negative. Honestly, I don't think that the materials it's made of are worth a dollar. It's made of, like, terracotta, redstone, and aluminum. Which, to me, I'm producing those in pseudo-infinite amounts right now. So maybe I wouldn't buy it for a dollar. Okay, and let's... Just to make sure, let's run a relay like right down to here before we split it off into wherever we're going to make our power nipple. 
so let's eliminate the uh on the pass through there let's also dig a stairway up and access into here Yes, the uh, the delicate, tender caress of uh, being whacked with a hammer. As a lot of immersive engineering machines do. So, where is a good spot for this? Yeah, here is a good spot for this, in fact. So, we'll make it just right there. Let's also make sure that... This is up here. Let's see, it was right there, right? Yeah, that's about right. It, it would probably be worth like a couple of cents per, per like cubic foot or, uh, or it, it would probably be worth something like, uh, no, not square foot. It's, it's wire. It's a spool of wire. So it'd probably be worth something like, it'd probably be something like worth a dollar per hundred foot of it. So like a, a cent per foot. And I think the default length of redstone cable off a single spool in this game is, uh, a single spool is 32 feet, so I would pay 32 cents for it. That sounds about right. Okay. So now this thing is pumping. And we're, of course, going to test our control system. So we're going to let that chest, that uh, barrel, I should say, fill up after the pipe pressurizes. In fact, let's test it a little bit faster. Let's reduce the... Uh, Reduce it to just contains 25%. Oh, no, contains less than 25%. Oh, well, that, yeah, that proves it. So when that is, when that condition is active, the pump will shut off. We just saw it happen. Pumping for the Cooper. Yes. We pump for the Cooper. We pumper the Cooper in order to make her, to make her der, der machines. What do I have in my bag that I shouldn't? I am not sure what I have in here that I shouldn't. That's preventing me from putting my HV cables back. Hmm. It's not that. What did I do wrong? Hammer. Sure, yes. Der Chocolate Moose. Well, no, I think that is the exact same joke as the Muppets made, isn't it? Ah, and look at that. See? Barrel full. Pump is still going. Oh, it, it's still sloshing around a little bit because it, it like, yeah. So now, barrel full, signal on, pump stop. Why is it occasionally emptying out? I guess it's because the pipe is sloshing back and forth. Well, regardless, this thing should be emptying out fast enough that it rarely has a problem keeping. So now all I need to do is I need to run the logistics pipe off of this. And I'm not gonna put any special controls on this because this is only gonna have like a couple thousand copper in the vein. 
So it is not going to come anywhere close to filling up our silo, especially now that I'm not that I'm starting to empty it out into the system. So we're going to need a, one of these. We're going to need a, one of these. And we're going to need a bunch of these. I probably need more pipe. So da, 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 I should have dug under there. Okay. You didn't quite dig the utilidor long enough. So I think that if I just look down here, that should, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's a little ugly, but who cares? I care just enough. There we go. That's a bit of a smoother experience. So I think we're going to run the logistics pipe down. Well, consider the fact that uh, ultimately it's an issue of supply and demand. And redstone tends to be a resource that you get in abundance, doesn't it? Like if you're going around in vanilla Minecraft digging for diamonds, then you're probably digging up tons of redstone just as a side product. So the fact that you're going to have a big supply of redstone just made kind of not quite automatically, but just just as an unwanted almost side product. And you don't use it all that often unless you're making something huge. Yep. Okay, that works. It's red, but it doesn't function as a die. No, it just makes it go faster, Devin. Everyone knows that the red ones go faster. Yes, exactly. Fox has the right of it there. I am literally one pipe short. How shit is that? Wait, 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 wait. There. Huzzah. Okay, so then we can just put pipe pulser on, not on there. Pipe pulser. Where did it go? And there we go. We have copper once more being produced. Oh, wow, you've got some stream lag going, Socks. Oof. Oh, but isn't this a beautiful sight? Look at this resource pipeline go. And I don't even have the iron turned on. It could be even more full of goodness. Let's drink some water. Alrighty then. So, we're starting to fill up on stuff once more. We already have, yeah, yeah. I think redstone would be pretty cheap because just in the little time that we've been away derping around changing our copper production flow, we have, uh, we have a supply of it. I don't think, uh, 
I don't think redstone is exactly a product we're ever going to be scrabbling for in the immediate future. All right. Uh-huh, the platform is getting a little bit crowded. It'll have to be expanded again pretty soon. Because now, now we have all the base resources together to start working on some automation, some proper automation. Specifically, some automation of uh, the engineering blocks that have been hounding us. Yep. Oh, and uh, Blood Devon, I think you were wondering at one point, it turns out I cannot put bags inside bags. Not when they're loaded. So, we would need to uh, tile them back and forth between my shulker boxes and my... Yes. And I will build more platform, but building more platform is something I tend to do between episodes. Because it is a very boring process. And it is not a complex process. It is not an expensive process. It is not a process that anyone needs to be seeing, you know? What's this doing? That's doing okay. We're getting a good supply of creosote oil together. All right, all right. So, 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 so. Now, we're getting to start working on some mechanical artisans. And to make those, to make those work, we're also going to need these artisanal power converter RFs which just take, effectively, more mechanical artisans. So, and notice that this uses crude oil as its liquid, but no tools. So, to make mechanical artisans, we're going to need, essentially, a bunch of iron and some copper coil blocks, and a little bit of glass. Hmm. Accepts any block glass. I don't know how to search by ore dictionary in JEI. Hmm. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to need a bunch of glass. But I'm going to need to make a bunch of these. Hmm. That also means a bunch of these LV wire coils. That effectively means a bunch of copper wires. So let's get working on the copper wire at least. Let's just grab a stack of copper and start converting it over. Just set this into wire mode. And then get her going. We also have a bunch just already made. I think that I can turn the diesel generator off for a few minutes while I'm working on this. No, I need to build up stocks of copper. Need to build up some... Oh dear, we've run through a lot of diesel. Distillery, back on. Need to make a better control system for this. I could do that real quick. I can do that real quick. Are these AND gates? Yeah, they are. Okay, so... Uh, I think that if I have this, this, and this. Now, these are three conditions and an iron gate can only accept two. I might need gold gates, but I think I can do this without. I think I can. So, on this one I'll say... When tank on north side is full, emit blue. Run wire down. And on this one, I can then put white wire. And since you're an AND gate, I can link you and I can say when you have blue signal and when tank on north side is full, emit white. Uh, I don't think 
a gold gate costs much. I just don't have any on me. Yeah, it would just cost a diamond chips. Uh, hold on. Ah, no, it would just cost these gold chips, and that's just redstone and gold. It does cost more power to make some. I should put some on to cook. But I've, I've figured out how to do this already, I think. Yeah. So then I run white wire down over to here. And I tell you that when you have white signal and when tank is full, then emit blue signal once more because it's a whole new separate blue signal. And then I can just run blue wire down here. And I'm gonna need a little bit of structure of pipe in just any old gate. Then it's a short daisy chain. It's fine. And then just a gate on there. And you say when blue signal, activate redstone. So, what this means is when all three tanks are full, effectively then it will shut the distillery off. Nice, simple, and easy. Also, I think it's finally time. Yeah. Yeah. Shoveling bitumen ain't really worth it anymore. Let's just void it all. Just put a void pipe. Oh, dear. It does not link properly. Okay, well. That's still an easy fix. Let's just throw out all this damn bitumen. So, put the chest back down. And then we just need to, unfortunately, waste an extraction pipe on this process. Uh, bitumen... Bitumen doesn't do much from what I can tell. I have a couple of chests on it just in case recipes for it open up later. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's like used for all the immersive railroading trains, which I'm not using immersive railroading trains right now. And it's used in a couple of decor blocks. I mean, this will be useful eventually, next chapter. Potions of Gigas might be useful. Uh, it's useful for some chisel and bits things. Yeah, chisel and bits is in the pack. I think we'll be unlocking it next chapter, but I'm not sure. What the heck is that? Immersive vehicles. Neat. But yeah, all, all in all, it's not terribly useful. Yes, I know. Everyone likes trains, but unfortunately, the immersive railroading trains are huge polluters, and there's not really a good counter for it, because they move. So they're not like all of our static industry where I can build filters onto it, you know? So if I start building trains everywhere, they're just going to be leaving snail trails of pollution all over the land. And eventually it's going to become a problem. Also, they are kind of difficult to automate. Oh, you're thinking of playing the packed fox? That's wonderful news. Uh, I hope that you post your playthrough to YouTube. I'd love to give it a watch. Look, we're already nearing some pretty bad points with pollution. This is after I've taken effort to clean up and reduce, okay? 
and yeah. That's just like, that's a lot of my early industry that got away from my building area before I could deal with it. And, and those are a couple of ships that had smokestacks going before I realized, and... Yeah. Well, yes, they, they are kind of fun to drive around. They are that. Why has this stopped? It stopped because that's full. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. We'll just build a couple of gold gates like I was looking at. Am I out of gold? I'm nearly out of gold. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would recommend is if you if you have a choice between OBS and um, NVIDIA Shadowplay, choose OBS. It works a lot better with Minecraft. It works a lot better in general. Yeah, let's make a few gates. Which means making a few chipsets. A few fancy gold gates, I should say. So let's turn the iron gates off. And there, those chipsets. Turn the lasers on, and that should turn the refinery back on. Yep, there it goes. Alright, it wasn't jammed, it was just it was just full. Alright, alright, alright. Well, it's it's not terribly hard to learn. It's it's a little bit overwhelming at first, but it's really not difficult. I mean, let's be honest. If OBS was difficult to use, would eThoughts exist? No, they wouldn't. All righty then, so. So, so, so. Right, right. Uh, my brain is getting frazzled because it is very, very late. And I'm running on very little sleep. Uh, let's at least start making some furnaces. So, in order to automate light engineering blocks, how many am I going to need? I'm going to need several of these, as well as the mechanical artisan. So, I'm going to guess I'm going to need a total of seven mechanical artisans, six for the power converters, because the power converters are also where you put items in. And unfortunately, they can only go straight. Y y you know what? Yeah, you're right, Blood Devon. You're right, Blood Devon. I think this is a good point to. This is a good part to just call it a night. We have achieved all the base resources that I wanted to for the meantime. We've got fresh copper coming in, nice and sexy like. We've got redstone, we've got glowstone, we have a nice chunk of iron. I think life is looking good, and I am very tired. So, next time, we'll start working on making our first mechanical artisan. And that will be a wonderful adventure. I hope you'll all join me for it. Fox, Devin, thank you for joining me. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Get some sleep, Devin. I'm going to do that myself. Both of you, take care.